Hello everyone, if you work with large data sets and trying to count matches data in two columns and many criteria, then you know how hectic it is to find matching data in Excel. But here you can do this in a click. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to count matches in two columns in Excel. In our first case, we want to use some product to count matches alongside in two columns. To do that, at first we have first name list and second name list in column B and C. We want to find number of matches in the E5 cell. At first, we have to go to the E5 cell and then we have to write down our formula is starting with the sum product. The sum product function will count and sum all the values found in the whole array. Then we will use the double hyphen also known as double anari. This portion will convert the logical values into numerical values. This portion is very important as sum product can only deal with numerical values not with the logical values. After that, we have to select the data range. At first, we have to select the first area, which is B5 to B15. Then, we want to match it with the C5 to C15 area. If we press the Enter button, then we will see that the whole formula compares the values in two columns B and C, starting from 5 to row 15, and counts the number of matching in between them. So let's hit the enter button and see the result. Let's talk about the result a bit for better understanding. If you look correctly in the data set then you'll see Max, Tom, Copper and Austin had found match alongside in two columns. So this is why there are four matches found and that's why the result have been marked as 4 in the E5 cell. So that's how you can easily use some product to get your job done. In our new case, we want to combine some product and count if function to count all matches in two columns. At first, we have the same data set of the previous method and again, we have to go to the E5 cell to insert our new formula. At first, we will write down the sum product which basically sums up all the numerical values. Then, we mainly use as the COUNTIF function. So, write down the COUNTIF function to count the values here. So, at first, we have to select the range which is in this case B5 to B15 for the first range and then we have to select the criteria which is in this case from C5 to C15. Now if we hit the enter button then we'll see our perfect result. Let's talk about the formula a little bit. Here the count if portion basically counts the number of times each value in C5 to C15 appears in B5 to B15. The result is an array of counts for each value in C5 to C15. Then we have sum product here. The sum product takes the total array of counts and then sums up the results. This effectively adds all the values in C5 to C15 appears in the B5 to B15. For better understanding, we can use conditional formatting. So select B5 to C15 and go to the home tab and then select the condition formatting and then highlight cells rules and select the duplicate values. Now in this dialog box if you select OK then you will see every duplicates or matches have been marked in the column. Now if you count correctly then you will see total 5 matches have been found here. So that's why the E5 cell is showing the result of 5. 
So that's how we can easily combine sum product and count if function to count matches in two columns. In our new case, we want to merge sum product is number and match functions to count matches. We'll use the same data set of the first method and then we have to count our number of all matches in the E5 cell. In the E5 cell, at first we'll write down our formula starting with the sum product. The sum product is used to sum all the array values. Next, we have the double hyphen which basically converts the logical values to numerical values. After that, we have is number which basically checks if any kind of number finds or not. Then we have our match function to get the perfect match. Now at first you have lookup value that means the value you want to search for. In this case it is C5 to C15. After that we have lookup area, the area you want to search for which is B5 to P15. Now, as we are trying to get the exact match, so write down the exact match here. Now, if we hit the enter button, then we'll get a perfect result. To understand the result perfectly, you have to select the data range and go to the home tab and select condition formatting. And in the highlight sales rules, you have to select duplicate values. Now. In this dialog box, if you press OK, you'll see there are 5 matches found here. That's why the result is showing 5 in the E5 cell. So that's how you can combine sum product, is number and match functions to count matches. In our new case, we want to combine count and match functions to get the job done. So at first we'll use the same data set of the first method and now we have to get our number of all matches in the E5 cell. In the E5 cell, at first we'll write down our formula which starts with the count function. It basically counts the number of non-array values. Then we'll write down our next function which is the match function which basically looks up for the match. Now in this case we have our lookup value which is the value we want to search for that is C5 to C15. Next, we have lookup array. That means the area we are searching. In this case, we are searching the area of B5 to B15. As we are trying to get the exact match, so we will select 0. Now, if we press the enter button, then we will get our perfect result. If we talk about the formula a little bit, then we will see the match function mainly searches for C5 within the C15 and returns the index of first matching value or an error if there is no match found. Next we have the count function. The count function counts the number of values returned by the match function. This effectively counts the number of values in C5 to C15 that appears in B5 to B15. So we have got our result. Now. To understand it perfectly, we'll again go to the home tab. In the condition formatting option, select highlight cell rules and select duplicate values. And now if we press OK in this dialog box, then we'll get our perfect matches. Here are 5 matches found. This is why the mark has been resulted as 5 in the E5 cell. So that's how you can easily use combination of count and match function to get the job done. In our new case, we want to apply the combination of if and exact functions to get the same result. But at first, we have first name list, second name list and status in column B, C and D. At first, we have to go to the D5 cell and then we have to write down our formula starting with the if function which basically sets the condition. In the logical test section, then we'll write down the exact function which ensures the comparison. Then we have to select the first text which is B5. Then we'll write down our second text which is C5. Now after that, 
we have to select value if true. That means if the condition have been fulfilled, then what will it show? It will show the common in this case. So I write down common in our double quotation. Then we have to write down value if false. In this case, if the value is false, that means the condition is not fulfilled, then it will show unique. And now hit the enter button. So we'll get our first result as it has not found the exact matches in the first two cells. Now if we select the cell and drag down to the very last cell to apply the formula to all the cells, then you'll see where it has found any kind of match, it has shown common, but where it has found no matches, it has shown the unique. Now we want to find the number of matches in the F5 cell. To do that, we'll use the COUNTIF function. So in the F5 cell, we'll write down the COUNTIF function, which basically counts the number of cells. Then we have to select the range, which is D5 to D15. And now we have to again select the criteria. That means what you are trying to find in this case. So we'll write down the matches. In this case, it's marked as common. So we'll write down common in double quotation and hit the enter button. Then you will see it has found four matches as you can easily see that D5 to D15 has common four times. So that's how you can easily use the combination of exact and if functions to get your job done. In our new case, we want to show you how to count duplicates in two columns in Excel. To do that, at first, we have first name list, second name list, count duplicates and status in column B, C, D and E. At first, we have to go to the D5 cell and enter our county function, which basically counts the number of range and criteria we want to set. Then, at first, we have to set the range which is B5 to C15. Now we have to make it permanent so that it don't get changed. So we'll use F4 in the keyboard. Then we have to use the criteria, which is in this case B5. And now if we hit the enter button, then we'll get our result. Now drag down the formula to use it to every cell. Then you'll find that the values of duplicates are more than two on other hand, the values of unique records are only showing as one. Now we have to show the status also and to do that at first we have to go to the E5 cell and use the if function. Here we'll write down the if and then in the logical test you have to select the range of D5 to D15 and to make it permanent we'll again use the F4 in the keyboard. Now as the condition, we have to say that this selected range must be greater than 1. And if it fulfilled the condition, that means value if true, then it will show the common scenario. So I will write down common in the double quotation. After that, in the value if false section, I'll write down unique in the double quotation. So after writing everything, I'll hit the enter button. So you will see that you have got your perfectly result. Now your main target was to get the number of matches. To do that at first you will go to the G5 cell and then we have to write down the count if function again. And now we have to select the range. The range is in this case E5. And now we have to use the hash option. The hash option is a symbol that indicates the formula will automatically spill down to include all adjacent cells in the same column that contain the same data. Now in the second case we have to select the criteria which is in this case the common. So write down common and hit the enter button. Now we'll get our perfect match in this case. So let's evaluate the formula first then go to the E section and if you value it correctly, then you'll see you have common total six times. So that's why it is showing six in the G5 cell. 
So that's how we can easily get our job done. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly. Or you can also download this practice book from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelnimi.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.